Uh, how's everybody doing today? Energy in the room is good. Now I want everybody to stand up. No, I'm just kidding. All right. <laughs> Butterfly. So what Butterfly is, it's a blockchain marketplace for scaling influencer marketing campaigns. So the influencer marketing space is growing exponentially. Uh, Two billion was spent in 2017 on influencer marketing and it's said to grow to 20 billion, uh, I'm sorry, 10 billion by 2020. Um, also 71% of consumers buy products off of recommendations from other people and brands are seeing an ROI of about 6x to 12x return on their spend on influencer marketing. So it's growing, it's here, it's gonna keep, it's gonna stay and we're gonna help brands scale uh, their influencer marketing campaigns. So um, there's a couple big problems for both brands and influencers in this situation. Um, for brands, they're just really unable to scale um, influencer marketing campaigns on Instagram effectively. And the reason for that is because um, the first they have to contact the influencer, build a relationship, that means they call their agents, their manager, sometimes it's their momager, and they have to build this relationship. Then they've got to create a contract and they've got to type up the contract, uh, send it off, then negotiate, get it signed. It's just a long, complex situation. Then after that's all there, then um, the influencer needs to do a post. Then they have to verify that the post is done correctly, uh, how much engagement is on the post. So they have to, some human has to go and look at all that. Um, doesn't stop there. Now they've got to do a W-9 because they've got to pay the person out. Um, they've got to get an invoice, so they're chasing these influencers down for invoices, and uh, that can be a, a laborious task. And then payment, so the payment needs to be processed through their accounting department. I think you guys know where I'm going with this. Um, the blockchain obviously can solve all this. So for influencers, uh, the problem for them is it's hard to find brands to work with. And we're talking about influencers, we're talking about influencers off the nine scales of influence. So everywhere from macro to mid-tier to micro-influencers. So if you have 35,000 followers, let's say, um, finding a brand to work with is difficult. How do you contact them? Who do you contact? You might love this brand, but you just don't know how to make money from sharing how great their products are. Uh, then if you do find the brand to work with, again, you have to contract. Then you've got to go through the W-9. Um, then you've got to create an invoice. And then you've got to wait for payment. So sometimes influencers... Uh, it takes up to 90 to 120 days to get paid. And then sometimes influencers are not even getting paid at all. And it's hard for them. They don't get to eat and they, they die a slow death. Hard crap. So Butterfly, what we're doing, um, there's basically two areas of the system. One of them is the protocol layer with the blockchain. Um, and we're using smart contracts to solve the laborious problem that we would discuss with all the contracting, the verification, the payment. Uh, it's a very obvious use case of blockchain. Um, the second side of it is uh, in, an intelligence side. So we have 500 million data points for relationship data across Instagram, and this is including um, hashtags, this is including metadata. And so what we're able to do is create, we're creating ML to help people optimize their campaigns. So has anybody, does anybody use Trade Desk or is familiar with Trade Desk? Fantastic. So <laughs> we're similar to Trade Desk. So what happened is a brand will log in and they'll say, hey, I've got $250,000 that I want to spend on an influencer marketing campaign. And then what our systems will do is they'll optimize the campaign and tell them who are the best influencers to work with and then assign a value to each one of those influencers' posts. And that's, again, across all nine tiers. So you can pay somebody thousands of dollars, pay somebody hundreds of dollars, but what we're doing is optimizing the campaign so they're going to get uh, the brand information in front of the right audience. And then once that's occurred, the brand will just press go. And then the influencer experience, what happens is the influencer logs into the app. They go to a channel. A post will come up. It says, hey, do you want to post this uh, about such and such brand? They swipe on it, similar to Tinder. And then it'll sit in an automatic send. And once it's sent, uh, monies will get released to the influencer's wallet, and they get paid. And that's basically how uh, Butterfly works, the system. Um, so our revenue model, we have two different models. One is a freemium model. So if you want to use our protocols just to, to, to contract with the influencers, go right ahead. If you know which influencer you want to pay, you know how much you want to pay them. We're not going to charge you for any of that. Um, if you want to use our intelligence, then we do a cost per engagement model. And we can take up to 50% off of the back end. The brand doesn't know that we're taking, um, you know, what, what we're charging on the back end. The reason that we're not taking a commission is because we don't want to be seen as competition. So there's agencies out there, CAA, smaller agencies, Lips Agency in LA, where they're taking a commission from the influencers 
for the posts. We don't want to take commission because we want them to use our rails. They want them to use our, our system so they can get more throughput. Um, we're already working with a couple partners. So we've chosen two partners to work with. We've got $3 million of committed revenue to go through our systems between now and uh, the end of 2019. And we also have some beta clients sitting in the wings that include Fox, P&G, CoverGirl, WeWork, Harry's. Uh, we haven't even launched our product yet and we're already getting checks. Um, so butterfly utility coin, um, it's a buck. And there's main, two main usage for the coin. One is a discount token, so it's similar to the BNB model or Sweetbridge. Um, the more bucks you're holding, the more discounts you'll get, and that's both for the brands and the influencers. But the brands, um, they're using fiat. So the brands are gonna log in. They don't wanna deal with coins. They don't wanna deal with price variant coins. They don't wanna put $100,000 in, and tomorrow it's 80, or $100,000 in, and tomorrow it's 120,000. They don't know what to do. So what we're doing is they can park their fiat in, spend the fiat budget, and then we'll have a, 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 a trader in the back move it into bucks and then move it into a stable coin or something else when we want to process the token as a medium of exchange. Um, now on the on this other side, the influencer, now they can determine do they want to get paid in bucks, do they want to get paid in fiat, or do they want to use, we have a butterfly credit card, it's a debit card that they can use and get reward points and spend crypto. Um, what we're also doing with uh, the discount for the influencers is that the more coins that you're holding bucks, the more discounts you're gonna receive on products that you love. So we know you like Nike because you post about Nike. Well, then we're gonna give you an opportunity to make money from Nike. And then we're, what are we gonna do? We're gonna give you discounts on Nike products so we can kind of close that loop. Uh, the market size is huge. You know, I mean, we have a big data play. We also have a social ad play, but really what we're focusing in on at the beginning is the $10 billion market. Um, competitive advantages. So there are a couple of different companies out there trying to accomplish what we're doing. Some main differences, a lot of them on Ethereum. We all know that Ethereum is going to have a scaling issue. We saw what happened with CryptoKitties. Um, we're looking at EOS. Um, another issue is that a lot of them are, are foreign. So there's some people in Russia, there's some people in Japan. They don't have relationships with the brands. Um, also, my team has deep domain experience in influencer marketing, social data, and working with brands. Um, and then um, they don't have the same database that we have and all the brand affinities that we have and the data science team. So key team members. Um, one thing I'd like to point out is Jim Sellers, who is my co-founder and also the CEO. He started a company called Tagger Media. He was a founder, the chief architect, and the CEO of this company. It's still a thriving company, and it's an influencer network that's not on a blockchain. And they power companies like Gary Vaynerchuk's uh, VaynerMedia, Ketchum PR, Hearst uh, Media, these huge companies use this technology. And so when I sat down with him and told him what we were doing at Butterfly, he was like, oh my God, you guys are solving the last mile of, of track. Gary Vaynerchuk has a floor of 40 plus people that are calling and, and, and negotiating and helping with um, influencer marketing. And he knows how much time they're spending on contracting and payment settlement and verification. So he saw what we were doing and he goes, listen guys, I wanna go ahead and come over to you um, help you win and be successful. I'm gonna find my replacement at Tagger Media. So Tagger Media is still going. He hired somebody from Apple to, to keep that ship going. Um, myself, I have built, I've been working with social data since 2012 at a company called WeLink, processed billions of social posts, um, and we used it for public safety. It was location-based social data monitoring. We partnered with companies like Cisco and Shenega International. Um, Everett Carney, is a, a, he's deep in the blockchain. Um, he's been doing social data for many years too. I'd like to highlight Sam Baldoni. Um, Sam Baldoni, and this is our brand relationship guy here. Uh, he's a forefather of product placement. So we're talking about, uh, in movies, so we're talking about Gremlins with Spielberg. We're talking about 90210, Aaron Spelling. We're talking about Ghostbusters. All the major brands that were going into the blockbusters is he negotiated all those deals. So when we walk into Fox, who do we get to see? We get to see the chief revenue officer and we know that from these major organizations, you need to trickle down from the top. Um, and he's fantastic at accomplishing that. Um, we also have Antonio Tambunin, who's here. He's not only um, the EVP of investor and stakeholder relations, he's also an investor, and he helped bring in over uh, 1.2 million behind his investment. And John Snow is an amazing data scientist. Um, 
we built this, uh, yes, from the north. <laughs> uh, we built this database after Cambridge Analytica. Um, so we're really skilled and we've got data for days. So advisors, uh, we've got great advisors. One of them is George Shaw. I don't know, is anybody familiar with um, Second Spectrum? Um, it's a company that revolutionized uh, the MBA and so they're using ML um, to understand what decisions the players should be making and teams have been using the data and becoming very much uh, more successful. And so he's helping build, our, build out our ML. We all know Michael Turpin, um, Todd, Todd Brown, um, he's a Harvard guy, but he managed 13 different properties at Viacom, including BET, MTV. Um, Eric Calder is, is, uh, comes from Wall Street and is also a developer. He did invest also. Um, so we got digital media, we got social impact, we got ICOs, we've got a, a stacked group of advisors. We've been very selective on who we bring in. Um, I'm really happy with this team. And so investment, where are we at? So we've already closed uh, 2 million at a 10 mil valuation and it's a seed equity round. And later this month, we're opening up um, our next seed round at a 16 million valuation and we're raising $4 million. Uh, we've got about 50% of that uh, soft committed. Um, and then from there, we're gonna move into a token pre-sale. And the way that we're doing our tokens, um, the total supply is gonna be a billion tokens uh, the initial private sale, 50% discount. Second private sale, 25% uh, discount. And then we move into a public ICO. And that's our token allocation and our use of proceeds. Does anybody have any questions? This, this seems like a really good business model uh, without the blockchain. So why blockchain? Efficiency. So, with the, well, in, are you talking about a coin or for the blockchain? Both. Okay, so blockchain is because of the contracting, the smart contracts. So the, that whole efficiency I went over with contracting, post-verification, using oracles, and payment, it's truncating the laborious workflow and making it really simple. So it's an obvious use case, I believe, for blockchain. Um, as far as the coins, uh, you don't have to have a coin in this system to make it work, but it does make it more efficient, makes it quicker, exchange rates, all the fees that go along with it, it eliminates that. And that's kind of what Bitcoin's doing, right? So to me, it's a very obvious use case. Just to give you a little bit of numbers, the amount of time that you take from contracting, verification, plus that's a pain in the ass with just 10 people, let alone 1,000. We've eliminated between 60, about 50 to 60% of the workflow. That's man hours. Wow. So Gary Vaynerchuk uses 40 people, and all they do is verify you've done this, you've done this post, oh wait, you showed under loop, you can't, you can't pay for this, all that sort of stuff. That takes weeks, if not days, if not weeks, if not months to do it. And then it takes 60 to 90 days to get paid, and uh, that's if you are able to pay them. So we've basically eliminated half of the workflow, which other means, which basically means I've eliminated your manpower, and that's automated, right? right. That's actually where our margin comes from. We've eliminated down to instead of three months, it's, it takes what, three, four days? Yeah. And it's a, it's a huge problem enough that we've got enough brands that are already knocking on our door where we're just not working with them yet. We're saying, hold on, it's coming in, in October. We've selected a couple uh, brands to work with strategically and they know that we're doing it, some of it by hand as we're building out our system. But the good part about that is we're using clients' money to help build out our systems, which is ideal. Yeah, I mean, just the payment system alone, if you're an influencer, when you engage, when you make the post and it's verified by Oracle, it automatically goes to your account. That, for me, was the biggest advantage just for the influencer. And I was thinking, the influencer side, I don't really care about the, uh, the brand side. Um, I come from the video game industry. All they cared about in Second Life or World of Warcraft was the payment facility in the background. That's actually, I started that with uh, uh, back in the old days of digital currency and gaming. So I said, all I care about is the fulfillment. Where do I get? How long do I get to get paid? So we eliminate just 60 to 90 days just on the influencer side. And that we can only do because of the smart self yeah. self executed contracts. Awesome, thank you. So uh, where are you in product development for both the AI side and, and the blockchain? Right, so the database, we've got a um, massive database and over 500, over 500 million data points. Um, and then what we're doing is we have about four different teams working on the ML. But the good thing is, and I can't say the brand, but um, Jim worked on a, a brand in the past where they put $5 million into um, a campaign. They hired um, 
13,000 influencers to post. Um, the brand made $100 million in 40 days. So we have these data sets. And now that we have the data sets, you can start creating the ML to figure out what's, how does this work? And then we don't know who's, you know, we're going to think about using Kaggle, a couple different teams, and just get that built out. Second area is the mobile app. So the mobile app has all been wireframed out and then all of the graphics are done. So we have the brand journey, we have the influencer journey. And what's really fantastic is when a brand logs into the app and types in their Instagram profile, we start telling them information about their followers and their followers' followers that they don't know. So it's an educational process as we're actually acquiring them as a customer. And if you know about the five stages of the consumer, consumer adoption process, we kind of put a lot of thought into that as we get, bring brands on. But to answer the programming side of it, we finish the AI and the ML, the machine's actually learning right now. So every day we're processing what is it, between half a million to two million pieces of data a day. So we finished the programming aspect, I think it was about three, four weeks ago, so the machine's learning now. And where do you get that data? Um, which data? The, which the, the data that you're learning from. But the brand is coming, we're, we're one of the interface companies for Instagram, so we were one of the, I think it was one of the 20 partners that was still allowed We were, we, were, we were complying with what the Instagram rules were. So we actually uh, have the business, business API and the business API tokens that allow us to process the data. So that's what we're getting from um, every day, just process. Every day, for example, if you have a million followers, I'm learning everything about you, what your users are doing. It's not just you, it's what your followers are doing. The word we didn't use today, unfortunately, uh, we just simply figured out that our affinities. And if you both are leading follow up, leading influencers, for me as a brand, I care about you. What I don't realize I care about is your affinities. You both happen to have followers that both like your brand or your activity. So our machine's learning about your followers, and then you know what your affinities are and say, okay, well, who are the influencers that, that represent you as a user? So it's learning every day. That's what our, our data is coming from, from Instagram uh, right now, which is our primary focus right now. Uh, any other questions? Thank you. Thanks.